Okay, today is a fun day. We have Mademoiselle 1986 Cindy. And I am thinking that we should do a fun, funky one. <laughs> well, looks as if it's going to be easy, right? But like a little bit of a crazy one? I don't know. Let's see what we find. Ooh, pretty colors. I don't know. I'm feeling a little like I want to do something cool. That is a that is a bold makeup, Lady Stetson. Andy. That share. That's a pretty picture. Ooh. That's too bad that that's so, like the facets on there are kind of fun, but it's just too dark. Oh my goodness, they're wearing rope. Cindy. All right. Cindy, okay, so this is 19. 86. Cindy's probably about my age. I'll have to check. I'm 54 now. No, I'm 55 now. I had a birthday and I turned 55. I have a really hard time with birthdays. I, um, I was 25 for two years because I turned 24 and then I thought I was 25 and then I had a friend who I knew was 24 and he and I were the same. It's a long <laughs> it's a long, convoluted story. But anyways, I figured out that I wasn't actually 25. Oh, look, there's two flowers. It's in the back of that. Okay, so we're going to have a little bit of a pink thing started. Oh, Arnold. Oh, my gosh. I kind of love this lady's outfit. I'm putting a pin in her. I've seen her in a different ad. All right. I had boots like this. I was very cool. I know. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> Look at that. Okay. She won. Okay. I'm doing this lady. That's amazing. Okay. Whew. Maybe I won't do a crazy one. Those are good eyes. He, now I need a head. And I need side pieces. Oh my. Donna Mills with crazy eyes. Whoo, Donna Mills. That was not a good look for you. All right. I wish her sleeve wasn't cutting into her face. I have a really, I, like, I would much rather have just a plain face. Oh. Are those those finger watches? Those are very short wristbands. I have concerns. They're like those finger watches we had that one time. Oh my, we were really, like you couldn't tell what your shape was, your, your uh, sweaters were huge oversized and then you had shoulder pads, it was crazy. She's got really pretty eyes. Okay, I know my mom went to work in that. That was all the rage. My mom was a, well, both my parents were college professors after, after a while. They didn't start out that way. Um, repeating elements like this are sometimes really good because they can help us make a border. Okay, 
So let's take out the shoesies. So there are six shoesies, so keep your eyes out for six other things. Oh, that's a great silhouette too. Look at all these great silhouettes. Do we need two people? Oh, those kind of go together, don't they? Ooh, ooh, is this two page spread? Let's see what we got. All right, I'm gonna have to come up with more heads soon, though. If we're gonna, if we're gonna have big heads on them, I'm gonna have to find more heads. Okay. Okay. Oh, yuck. Not, not the orgasm part, but the picture isn't. <laughs> yeah. We're PJ. Okay. Oh, those are big heads. Way too big heads, but we got some big eyes. That's always helpful. We got to see if we have big heads that we can use. Why women smoke? Because we're addicted to nicotine. Duh. Okay. Great shapes. Bangles. Oh, here we go. There's a head. Oh, I think I've done this magazine. I love her Russian look. But we're going for a super fun flapper thing this time. And I need some heads. Okay, let's start at the back. Oh, there's some pink. That may be good for our pink border because don't forget we have these pink flowers and kind of pinky edges. So a little pink and white for our border, nice. Oh, I like her eyes. Let's keep her in mind. Ooh, those are big eyes. Okay, there's a head that would be big on these girls. Not super big. Uh, I think I want to, okay. And then this would be giant. That's kind of too big. This may be more along the size we need. Her swoopy bang is, oh, there we go. This is the size head I need. Okay, let's find another head that size. Why do we have Russians in my magazine in 1980 something? Brewskis. Oh, there's that girl again. They're like, we got her in for a shoot. Let's get some pictures. Too big, too big, too big. I just need one more lady with that size head and then we'll figure things out. And I can always cut out a little bit more if need be. But, oh, and we have the six shoes. Okay, Boop. let's 
keep going. I want their heads to be a similar size. They don't have to be exactly the same size, but I want them to be a similar size so that um, they look good on the page together, right? So that they, so that, because I'm, I'm trying to make them look ridiculous. Their heads are going to be way bigger, but I also do want them to, um, like I want to be able to sell the magazine collage of it that it's actually a thing. I'm sure there has to be one more lady in this magazine with a similar size head. Uh, her head's the same size. Maybe we have to do some, oh. Do we, oh, Andy Ryder. I'm wondering, I could maybe use his head. I don't think he's a child. That's a child. <laughs> I feel like it is the height of laziness to cover models in string and call it fashion. That's just people covered in string. I don't have very many strong opinions about things, but that is not fashion. All right, I think we have a good start and two great people. I am going to cut this out and I will be back. Okay, we have kind of a big one we're working on. This is the Mademoiselle October 86 with Cindy on it. And let's let's find a two-page spread. Uh-oh. What about this one? We may have to paint over this. But I just seen you know, a two-page craft. Okay, maybe purple. I'm kind of having a purple moment, to be honest with you. Um, so we have this fun gal dancing. See, this is the problem for me. We have this fun gal dancing. We have this girl here. If I try to do all of this on one page, it's gonna feel very, very crowded. So I do think I want this to be a two-pager. We have two heads. So we have this head. Oh, that kind of looks cute on there, doesn't that? Oh my. And I can still get her feet in. No way. Okay, so that's that's gonna be this person. We don't have a ton of other stuff, to be honest with you. It's a little sparse. And then she can go over here and I can color the top of her hair. Okay. And then we have, so if we move her, him, to the middle here, we do have these cool border pieces that I can paint. I won't leave them tennis shoes. I'll paint them something else. But that'll give us some interest over here. Maybe we even move this even more that way. I kind of am starting to grow on the purple. This has to be like... um. It looks like Seth Apter ice. Maybe we can make the whole thing purpley. Oh, anyways, let's see what else we got. So we got some flowers. Got another flower. That could come down here. I like that she's sitting on a whole bunch of suitcases. Okay, we got some borders. Borders are always nice. They just frame it, especially if we're doing something weird like this. And then I have a little piece of uh, chain. <laughs> That's all we got, you guys. We're a little hurting on this. So, do we want to keep the purple flowers? And I, I kind of think I do. Okay, we're going to keep the purple flowers, but we're going to paint everything else 
like a purple. No, oh, I just did a purple one. Oh, we have that distressed purple. Hold on. I'm going to use that. I'm so... You know how when you get a new color and you're like, I love this color. That's where I'm at. So we're going to paint this purple. I want... What kind of brush do I want? I want a big enough brush that I'm not having to... Ooh, that I'm not having to, to like, paint, 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 but I want a small enough brush that I can um, sort of maneuver around here. So we're going to, first off, we're going to give everything a spritz because distress paint is fine with water. And we're going to give our distress paint a little spritz. And we're just going to start pulling this purple color around. And I don't know, I don't think I'm going to go into all of those. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Okay, okay. Now, if you are freaking out and thinking that I have ruined everything, uh, so there's a couple things going on here. So first off, we're going to have a little border or something going on. So this is just the background, right? Um, second off, this is just paint and we're trying to have kind of a consistent background that spreads over the two pages, but still keep this, um, this kind of purpley look. Third, we can take, we're gonna do this first, okay? And we're gonna see if we like how the dark purple kind of merges these two pages together. And then if we're not happy with that, then we're gonna do a wash like just a really light layer of purple. See, it got really grungy on the craft, which is fine, that's kind of cool. Okay, here we go. We're gonna have some borders, maybe not everywhere, so we wanna make sure we, uh, have some paint around. I just find the um, distress paint so interesting to work with because it's like India ink. It's it's um, it's water reactive when it's wet, but then when it dries, it is permanent. And I have to have permanent layers because I am a goober. Okay. All right. So to me, that looks a little blotchy. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take one drop of distress paint. We're going to take a ton of water. We're going to pull water into this brush. I don't know if you can see that. And we're going to paint over everything. And we're going to use more water than you think you would want to use. Because I like those circly colors. I like those circly bits, but I kind of want to make at least a semi-cohesive color. Water, 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 water. And we may even pull. In fact, we are going to pull. Some of this color off this page. Here we go. Whoop! There we go. Nice. A little dark and brooding, little color in there. We're gonna do this exact same thing here. Water, 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 water. Water in the brush, water in the brush. Ooh, this one's this. So this is the difference in paper, right? So this is cardstock and it does not suck up. It has kind of a little bit of a coating on it. So it does not suck up color 
like craft paper does. Craft paper is a very, I have found to be a very thirsty, thirsty girl. And it sucks up whatever you put near it. So you kind of have to be a little careful when you're using craft. If we didn't have the purple circles across these two pages, I probably wouldn't have used this one. But I like, I'm feeling lazy. Okay, let's just call a spade a spade. I'm feeling lazy and I don't want to have to um, make a fancy background. And this one had a sort of fancy background to begin with, right? And so that way I wouldn't have to work as hard because I worked a different day. Okay, let's pull some off of here. And I'm feeling a little bit like this is very stark. More water, more water. There we go. Let's get this blended in a little bit. Okay, and now we're gonna have to give a wee minute for this whole thing to dry. And I am gonna dry it with my heat gun because yes, you can dry distress paint with your heat gun. I know this because Mr. Tim Holtz who makes distress paint dries everything with a heat gun. I'll be right back. Okay, so just dry enough. Um, and as I was drying it, I'm thinking this might be um, glitter paint and maybe um, glamour gel. I don't remember what I used to make this background. Okay, so let's get our stuff in. And let's start with this because this is going to take up a good portion of this side. So we want a little piece of background, just a little one, to get us past. Ooh, how about that? Let's do that to get us out past those shoesies. And this is Nouveau glue. This is my favorite glue because the nozzle doesn't close. It, um, it can manage itself super well, and I am not good at keeping track of whether my paint's closed or not, or my glue's closed or not. And so I've had other amazing glues, but they, um, they close themselves up. And then I have to spend a lot of time um, unclogging them, and I don't find unclogging glue to be a fun part of my magazine collage i know it doesn't bother some people and they're just either super good so like i bought the art glitter glue and i put a pin in it and it it will keep it but what if <laughs> i kind of feel like what if i forget to put the pin in the art glitter glue so anyways i use nouveau glue because i find it to be delightful as far as not bothering me. Okay, there we go. We got some tennis shoes. Oh, let's keep this bottom part of the tennis shoes up. And let's put something else down there. Is that going to be wide enough? Yep. That is going to be wide enough to go right under that tennis shoe. And I don't even think we're gonna need to make paper dolls today because that's gonna be an easy one to stick down. Boop, right in there. Okay. So that's a flower. We, oh, let's stick that down. We know this flower's probably gonna go somewhere along here, right? Or somewhere up here maybe, I don't know. I don't know yet but it's going to go somewhere on this side of the project. Let's figure out our dancing girl. And we said she and her head are, go well, I feel like I can put her head on because it's gonna go right like that. So do let's make a paper doll of her head. People ask why I shake, I, um, was doing a lot of computer work last night to make videos and I shake when my wrists get tired. That's all. 
Nothing more exciting than that. All right. So let's stick her face, her hand to her face. And I'm going to try to get as little glue over spray as I can, but I don't really worry about it. Look how cute she is. And I'll paint the, the bottom of that hat black because he had like a, a hood thing. Okay, let's see how much of him we can get on. If that's all we have of him, are we happy or do we want to get a bit more of him and just not have the bottom of her shoe? I kind of feel like we lose the cool blackness. So we're gonna we're gonna kind of cheat both ends of her. But let's get a piece of interesting border over here and then down here, and then we'll put that on. And I do want this border to go across here so we can tell that this is a blended page, right? That's how you start to get this idea that this is all one piece. Okay, oh, we could do a little fuzzy, fuzzy part here. And I will, I think you can see the bottom of this. I will um, probably make them big eyes. I don't know, did we see any cool sad eyes that we could make them both sad eyes? Maybe we'll take a peek before we go. All right, now that's gonna go on there. Now, if I put this up to here and I didn't put it across, what it would do is make my journal smaller, like less fat. My journal is very fat. Um, I think it's a personal preference whether you care if your journal busts out of its binding. Um, so far, this is a Dilusions Classics journal and it is extremely well made, right? For a $25 journal, um, it is uh, all different signatures. It is different papers, black, white, and craft. Um, it is very, very cool. I'm very pleased with my journal. I love that this lady's a smoker. I know smoking isn't cool anymore, and we tell the kids not to do it. But I am a smoker at heart. When I get a, a uh, terminal diagnosis, you know what the first thing I'm doing? I'm buying me a pack of Marlboro Light 100s menthol. Yo, oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's get everything stuck down. And that is a really cute silhouette. And we're gonna pour, perform a partial amputation because I'm gonna get rid of this. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep thinking, oh, it would be so cute if she had the rest of her foot. We can tell that she has a cute other foot. We're gonna have to imagine it. That's all we can do now. Okay, so let's do this side. I don't know yet if that's gonna actually come in. Do we have enough border to, if I feel like we have plenty of border to get around. So let's just do a quickie border. I almost feel like, oh, I was gonna say, I almost feel like we should have a consistent height border down here. So this is what I'm thinking. So if I put these packages here and this here, then her head gets cut off and it won't matter that much. But if I put the packages up a little bit, then her head won't get cut off and then I don't have to be bothered with that. But I don't think that either way I'm gonna sit her right on top of the border, so I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. And I don't know if I'm gonna paint their clothing. Sometimes I paint their clothing, sometimes I don't paint their clothing. I'm gonna put this guy in the corner because he's a nice big fatty. And I like a nice big fatty end edge. Oh, that uh, Distress Paint color is called Villainous Potion from Tim Holtz. Mr. Holtz keeps making amazing products and then he makes me buy them. And my husband even got me some Tim Holtz ephemera for my birthday. I wondered how he knew that. And then he's like, you asked me six weeks in a row to watch Tim Holtz on Saturdays. So 
He seemed like he was pretty on it, that he knew Tim Holtz made stuff. <sighs> Probably true. Okay, let's keep going. All right, all right. Let's keep going around. We're going around. Some days I feel like I spend my life making borders. I'm getting ready to work in my whimsy journal for a few minutes when I get done here. It's brand new and none of you have ever seen it, but I was in the shower this morning um, thinking about it. And I think I'm going to make a house and a basketball court in there. And you're not gonna understand why, but I think it's gonna be super fun. And I will show you eventually. I'm just not showing you right now. It's my journal. I'll record it for you. It's just that everything is out of out of time order for sometimes. So what'll happen is I will do a bunch of collages and I will record them and I will post them because there's an economies of scale if I um, do the same thing all at the same time. So I'll do a whole bunch of these guys, and then I'll do a whole bunch of mixed media, and then I'll do my whimsy journal, and, uh, and they'll be out of order. Like the last time I posted working in my tall journal, it was, I started that video like a month before the end of it because I got busy doing other things. And that is how my world works. Okay, we're gonna put her here, but we have two flowers we can use. And I feel like we're really light on stuff anyways. Do we do both of the flowers near her? Well, I don't wanna cover my boxes. So if I do this flower up here, Let's see, if we do this flower up there, she's gonna cover most of it. What if we do this flower this way? Oh, that's it, right? That's it. Um, oh, I forgot what I was talking about, except for that it was about the fact that I record out of order. Um, in fact, I have a couple. <laughs> uh, what is one of them? Oh, starting my um, houses journal, because I, I ordered these really cool houses dies. So um, I am going to do some housework. <laughs> housework, get it? Um, I am going to do some housework, but that's going to be a little in a little while. But I but I when I opened them, I put them in a video. So it's it's kind of weird to me that everything is a little bit out of order. And then I feel like if we put this across here, yeah, and then all of a sudden, oh, you know what we could do? Can we pull this up a little bit? Well, we can get this up a little bit. Let's see. All right, I can get it up a tiny bit to put this under there. And that's all I can get. But I kind of feel like it's going to be enough. Okay, I'm going to do that right now. Just a little optical illusion to tie them together. Because I don't want orphans. Um, in my work, gosh darn it. In my work, orphans are when I have her all by herself, right? I have this all by itself. I have this all by itself. I have the, you know, like nothing is connected. Now the borders tend to help connect things, right? That's one of the reasons why I do the borders because they give cohesion to the whole piece. But that having been said, if all your elements are separate, distinctly separate, you're gonna feel like 
it's not a whole piece. It's just little bits and parts of things hanging out together. Does that make sense? Does my orphans make sense? Okay, here we go. Now she is going to go on top of her body just like that. Look how cool that is. I'm gonna put her on so we know right where we want her to go. She looks a little shocked. Okay, let's get this lady's body straight. Let's get her head straight. Tara Jacobson, taker of ears, let her keep her ears. I know. I was super nice to her. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So, I'm just going to put her up to the top. And then I'm gonna let the rest of this fall where it may. And I got it a little tiny bit off track and glued on my... If you don't wanna glue on your paper, don't glue on your paper, right? I glue on my paper and so I have little glue spots here and there. Doesn't bother me, might bother you. There we go, there we go. Cute, cute, cute. And we are gonna spend one minute and see if we can find some sad eyes. So I need two sets of eyes looking forward about the same size. Too big. <laughs> I need two sets of eyes about the same size looking forward. Thank you, Magazine Gods. Okay, so we're going to do them right now. Yay, us. Okay, so we're going to come along here. And we're gonna have to decide if we wanna leave their eyes as they are or make them sad eyes. So let's do this. We're gonna cut a little higher than her eyebrows. And we're gonna cut off this dark part. I don't really ha care how that is in relation to their eyes. Now I can line up their noses so they look right. That's what kind of sells it is if you can line up their noses and make them look right. But I tend to like sad-eyed people, um, meaning I flip their eyes around and then, um, and, then, and then turn them down, make them look sad. Okay, but could it be cool to have, I don't think it looks cool, not, not in my design. In other people's design, that could look really cool. You could draw around them. Um, but I tend to like sad people. <laughs> Aren't you glad we decided to do this? I'm so glad. I am so glad. Okay, so we're going to make her eyes look sad. We're going to make this the back one because it's darker. We're going to make the light one the front one. Things in the back generally are darker. Things in the front are lighter. So if you kind of try to conform to how the world works, you're gonna sell your design a little bit better. And, it's, and her eyes are gonna be a little bit out from where they're supposed to be, but they're also a little bit bigger than they're supposed to be, so. And I guess I don't really worry about where they go together, like where they show up on her face, because I make them I make them bigger than they are. Okay, there we go. Yay. All right. Now, I think these, this girl and that guy both have freckles. How fun is that? Okay, so we're going to do this. I don't know. I feel like I just got a lot of nose left. Okay, so this is this eye. Aha, Tara Jacobson, taker of ears. He's not gonna have ears. We're gonna cover up his ears. Oh shoot. Can we get can we get her hand to come up? Of course I glued this better than I glue almost anything. Can we peel this up very gently? I'm kinda bummed that I thought it's not gonna come up. I'm kinda bummed that I thought of this after 
but there's nothing I can do about it and we're not gonna worry about it. It would have been cool if I could have had her hand over his eye like that, but we didn't know that we were gonna do this, so there's no sense in crying over spilt milk. I can put it up a little bit so we can see more of her hand. And we are just not gonna be sad about this. That's just how it is. And you kind of get the impression of her hand going up there and probably nobody but you and I will notice because we got big eyed people. <gasps> what is that? E oh, see, we don't even have to worry about that ear though. You know what I'm gonna do with that ear? Can you guess? I, you know how I said I was gonna paint black in here? I'm gonna paint his ears off too. You can't make me keep his ears. Okay, I think that turned out super fun. We have this one little jingly piece. I feel like it looks like a worm. I don't see it being in this design. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life. I don't know if I've shown you my journal in a while, but it's getting pretty chubby. Look at that. All right, we gotta find the one we're working on. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. And there it is. Okay, so I'm going to show you a lot more than I usually show you because I feel like this one really shows how it looks terrible in the middle. Okay, so things I did while you were gone. I outlined everything. I painted these shoes in different colors. I outlined and I made the spots, right? So, to me... This doesn't look good at all. This looks like a hot mess. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to make these guys the start of their big eyes. So I'm going to make this white because right now I feel like if you take away that little pop of white, this stuff is more bright than my actual magazine collage peeps, right? So we need to get some color into them. So we're gonna make them white eyes. And I have a whole video about how I make big eyes. So if you're interested, you can go watch that. Today, we're gonna be doing lots of other stuff. Okay, so there's the start of his big eyes. Let's get her big eyes going. And I go to their top lids and to the edges of their real eyes. And these are not realistic eyes, right? They don't have the little tear ducts. They don't have anything like that. I do not make realistic eyes. I just make big old white eyes. And they're not the same, right? So if you're looking at these and thinking, well, these eyes aren't the same, well, number one, they're flipped around and turned down, right? Because I like sad eyes. And number two, they're um, backwards, right? So they wouldn't look like regular eyes anyways. So we have that done. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a pip brush pen, and I'm going to go around everything. So I'm going to go around her. And the thing that makes things stand out isn't color um, cause like this is all a very similar color, right? Um, the thing that makes things stand out in your picture is contrast. So there's no contrast right now, except for the really bright, um, so to me, the peach color stands out the most, maybe the pink, right? So we need to start working on getting some contrast so we can see our main focal points instead of seeing just the big peach things. And the reason why I'm letting you see so much, I was gonna do all this yesterday, is because I feel like my really, 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 really ugly middles, you don't get to see. You see most, you see like the start when it looks terrible, but you're like, okay, fine, everybody's looks terrible. But then you don't get to see this ugly middle 
where I go, oh, there's a slight chance I've ruined it all. Maybe I should have just left the, the luggage the right way. Maybe I shouldn't have painted those guys. This looks childish. Um, but the cool thing about when you do a lot of magazine collage is once you get used to the fact that you're going to hate it in the middle, it's, it becomes less intimidating, right? Like I don't get intimidated when I hate it in the middle. In fact, I was like, okay, I'm going to show them my truly ugly middle so that they can know that this happens in every middle I do. And I'm not very careful about outlining. You could be very careful about outlining your stuff. I just am not. I just don't have the time. So to, today is Monday. Usually on Monday we don't play. But Emmy, my granddaughter, may be coming. Well, she's coming for sure tomorrow, but she may be coming Wednesday too. So I got to squeak in my art time. I did not know that little children got so sick all the time. It's so funny. We adopted my kids, um, if you don't know. We adopted them when they were um, 8, 5, and 15. And I have to say, I have the healthiest children in the world. Josiah had the sniffies this weekend, and he was horrified because they do not get sick. But this little one, this little Emmy, she has two ear infections, she's getting her teeth in, she's grumpy, she's adorable. I am helpless against the Emmy Lulu. Okay, there we go. So that's all done, let's do this up here. I don't know yet, I think I'm gonna go, oh shoot. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go around this with this. I think I may go around the outside and maybe one more time around this with maybe a pink. I don't know yet. Sorry, I got talking about Emmy. Lost my head. I forgot what I was doing because she's so adorable. Okay. So let's finish this up and we'll go back to their eyes because they should be relatively dry by now. I have to go do the, um, the feedies over here first. And I'm just kind of ignoring the fact that this is weird. It's fine. It's kind of a weird edge. Nobody will notice it but you and me. Because there's giant shoes over here. There's going to be guys with big eyes. You're going to start to notice them more. All will be well. Actually, we're going to do one more thing before we work on their eyes again. Okay, so I'm not super big into like the whole, you know, painted thing and clown stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around these and I'm going to give them a little bit of shading. And this won't show up too much, but it'll give it a little bit of shading. These are more of those pit brush pens. And it's just going to put, it's going to make it a little bit more dimensional and a less, a little bit less flat than it is now. And I'm gonna go around some of the edges of these suitcases where like shadows would be to give them a little bit more dimension. And I'm not doing anything super exciting here. I'm just hitting a few of the high spots so that it doesn't look so flat. Right now it looks super flat and not cute but just adding a little bit, and you could do this with alcohol ink markers. Now, I will tell you that the alcohol ink will somewhat melt your acrylic paint, which makes sense because we use alcohol to um, clean our acrylic brushes, right? The first time I used alcohol ink, I was like, I feel like this is melting my, um, my paint. And then I was like, oh, acrylic brushes. But it still works. It still will come. And I actually, I haven't played with it enough to get good at it. But I do like a little bit the melty effect you get. Because it kind of, it half blends the paint. Right? So it's sort of blendy. But I like this pip pen 
because it's not gonna melt my paint. But see how we're starting to get a little bit more dimension going on in here? And it's starting to look a little bit less boring and flat. I like this look. I like when there's just a little bit more going on. And it, to me, and I was gonna do all this without you, and then I wondered if you would like to see it. And to me, just this little highlighting in this little bit of time feels like it makes all the difference in the world to me to finish my piece. So we're just gonna go around here. All right, we gotta start thinking about what color we wanna make their eyes. Cause we're gonna leave this sit for a wee minute and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna highlight and shade the other two colors, right? Okay, there we go. So just a little bit of, of interest. Okay, so I feel like we want teal eyes today. So we are gonna use, okay, I'm gonna make her teal eyes and I'm gonna make him real blue eyes to match their sweaters, right? Okay, so let's, oh, we don't have very good acrylic paint in there. You can tell if it's not super opaque, then you know the paint isn't doing very well. And I can kind of make circles because I'm going to um, go around with um, eyeliner and cut off the top of those circles. So I'm going to leave this here. We're going to do another layer of that. And we're gonna give her, she doesn't have quite as big eyes. We're gonna give her some green eyes to match her sweater. She had littler eyes to begin with. Okay, there we go. Now let's get blue. So we're gonna get a blue and we're gonna put little dabs in the blue parts. And I feel like they sort of sink in, right? They're not gonna stay that bright a blue on this paint. And I don't know why they sink in like that. I just know that they do. So if you're using a, um, a type of material and you don't know what it's gonna do, just try it on something, right? Like, so it's just best to know how your materials are gonna react to each other. And it's kind of like the, the Pit Pen India ink sits on it and then it kind of sinks into that um, acrylic paint. And I'm not being very careful. You could be very careful. I just don't think in the grand scheme of things that anybody is gonna notice how I shaded these purple or these circles I think people are gonna notice the giant people in the middle with different heads. This is just some interesting side pieces. All right, there we go. And I might do them a little bit better if I was in my bedroom watching, you know, junk TV or art videos, but I just don't know that I feel like there's anything that exciting about that part of it. Okay, let's go back up to the top, and we're going to, oh, I really need to give him more acrylic paint on his eyeballs. Oh, there we go. All right, I was going to go up there and outline their eyes, but let's leave that for a minute, and let's finish this. So I have a really pretty caramel color brown. This is my favorite pen. This is Raw Umber 180. And we're gonna go along the sides of this suitcase. And we're gonna zhuzh up this and make it a little bit less like it's bright and cheery. Then we can put spots on it, on our white spots. I love this burnt umber color. This is maybe one of my 
favorite colors. Okay. Now see the blues was a darker blue than the blue, so it stayed really separate. The purple sunk right into the purple. So if you don't like um, this to really show up, then you would pick a color that's closer to like that peach color. I don't love the peach color. I'm happy to get rid of some of it. I know I bought the mark, the paint pen. I can't remember why I bought it. It's very sweet. And I don't do very sweet art. I'd say we're getting close, but we're not really quite close yet. Okay, so that's that to me feels a lot better. Um, let's do purple around these plants. Just in here to give them another little zhuzh to get them to show up. Because we're going to... Um, do dot dash around the people to get them to stand out, but I feel like I could use a little bit of love. And I don't usually show you guys this. I usually show you most of the way, and then I do some of this zhuzhi stuff around the edges. Um, but I was feeling like you need to know that stuff looks funny for everybody. Okay. Oh, did you around here? Oh, and another thing I did last night, now that I see it, I don't remember if I told you, I um, drew in some of these uh, things where there was like, it felt like just clumps of purple. And Desi said, why did you draw those, Mom? And I said, now it doesn't look like clumps of purple. It looks like they go with it. And she agreed. So. All right, where'd our black go? There it is. Now we're going to highlight. We're going to give them eyeliner. And I kind of go on the outside, and then I give them a cat's eye. Okay, and I always turn their cat's eyes down. Real world tip, the lady who I follow who does makeup for ladies over 50, she says, don't put your cat's eyes down on your real eyes because it makes you look older and sadder. And now, because I'm going for older and sadder, I'm fine with it on my little guy here. But in real life, if you're getting a little bit up there like I am, put your cat's eyes up. Interesting, isn't it? Everybody's got their own tips. Makeup girl tips. Now, he looks freaky because he doesn't have any irises. We'll give him some irises and then he'll look better. I think that blue may have been a little bit wet underneath. We may have to come in and redo the black part of his eye. Do, do, do. Well, I guess that's okay. I'm not giving him lots of eyelashes. This isn't a big eyelash day. Oops. Gotta get some more paint coming out. I'm just going around, giving them some eyeliner. Give her four eyelashes. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And if you're sad with your eyelashes, just make more. Because you'll find out what you like. You may think my eyelashes look terrible, or you may think my eyelashes look delightful. It doesn't matter because I like my eyelashes. Oh, she's got big irises. We gotta make this one bigger. Um, Cause it really doesn't matter if you like them. It only matters if I like them. There we go, cute. Cute. Okay, so while we're doing that, I don't need black anymore. We're going to do dot dash. So I don't want to put my hand in that paint. So I'm going to stay away from their eyeballs. And wait till you see how this makes these guys pop off the page where they were getting kind of sucked into it. 
Because remember, contrast is what makes things visible. And, oh, hold on. Woo, woo, woo. We didn't do in her legs. <laughs> we don't want yellow. Um, contrast is what makes things visible, right? And we didn't have much contrast before, but now we are going to have contrast to where you're going to get to see her legs. You're going to get to see the edge of the suitcases. Okay, so we go down here for the edge of the suitcases. We may do the flowers. I don't think so, but we could. We'll have to review once we get done. We're just coming along here. And this is a very bad angle. Usually if I was doing this in my room, I would turn my, my book like this. Because I want to have a really good angle to do my dot dashes. And to not stick my arm in my paint. Okay. I want to do dot dash in the middle here to so we can see that there's a break in there. Maybe just do a little thing there. Can we do a baby dot dash? Want to get in here? All the places we want people to notice, right? They're not going to know they they're not going to like go Oh, that dot dash made me notice this. They're going to be like, oh, look at that girl. Okay, so she looks great now. I feel like she's really popping that we're starting to see her. Over here, we still have some of this, like, this is battling him. But you'll see when we do a dot dash around him, all of a sudden you start to notice, oh, he's there. My Virginia Slims chick. And then it comes out here because we don't have all of her shoe. Boop, boop. And we're going to come down here. And isn't that interesting how just a little bit of white makes him pop out so much more off this page. I just, to me, I wanted to show you the miracle of it, how when we outlined it with black and then we got him involved and then did the white dot dash and then did the shading so we knocked this back a little bit. I'm gonna knock this back even a little bit more because to me, this is just way too much peach. So I'm gonna kind of come in here and darken up this peach a little bit. I don't mind it on this suitcase, I don't know why. And if after a while this really bothers me, what can I do? Class? I can paint over it because we have paint, right? That's our superpower as magazine collagers. I could just paint over this with a totally different color and make it look different. But I have a feeling that this is gonna start making me less hateful of it. I already feel like I dislike it less. And it makes an interesting thing over here. Okay. I don't know. I think I'm done. Okay, that was a lot for the second step. We could come in here. We could doodle the border. We could do some more with this flower. We could make it fluffy. But for right now... Oh, we got to put dots in their eyes. Hold on. Hold on. I lied to you. Where'd my white go? I literally had it two seconds ago. You guys said... Did I not do her, the edge of her eye? What is happening? What is happening? I don't feel like her edges of her eyes got done. Oh yeah, no. Okay, so we're gonna put a dot in her eye. Boink, boink. 
boink, boink. And I am calling this one done. I like how this looked out. I may put words in it sometime. I may do something around. I may put words around the edge. That would be fun, maybe. And have them come down in here. But for right now, this one is done. Hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.